Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Make America Lit, back with another NBA 2K22 video. And in today's video, I'm bringing you guys another edition of NBA Player Builds. And as you can see on screen, in today's episode, we are going to be recreating Golden State Warriors' own Clay Thompson. Um, you know, I, I don't really even need to speak much on Clay Thompson. I think we all know who he is as a player. We all know how great of a shooter he is um, and how many you know, uh, championships he's contributed to for the Golden State Warriors. So I won't even waste my time explaining who he is or why we're even doing an episode on him. So Clay Thompson, shooting guard, shoot right-handed, jersey number 11. Um, he is 6'6", 215 pounds, plays shooting guard and small forward. His attributes are as follows, 75 layup, 88 close shot, 65 drive and dunk, a 65 post fade, a 79 mid-range, a 88 three, a 89 free throw. He has a 76 ball hand with a 77 pass accuracy, a 58 defensive rebound, 70 interior, 87 perimeter, 87 lateral, a 60 block, 57 steal, and then he has a 71 speed, 74 acceleration, 67 vertical with the 62 strength. He has no finishing badges, a handful of shooting badges, uh, four into playmaking, and then he has about 18 into defensive. So let's just jump into his build. Um, starting out, we're going to be using a pie chart all the way at the bottom down here. Uh, the more shooting than defense pie chart. Um, and then from there, we're going to go with the balance pie chart. Uh, you can go with these other pie charts, but I feel like, um, you know, he does have a 62 strength. Um, and, you know, he really isn't as fast anymore. You know, before he had like high 80 speed, low 80 speed, I mean low to mid 80 speed but now after the whole achilles injury and then the acl injury and stuff like that his speed isn't that high he has a 71 speed and a 74 acceleration so because of that we're going to go with the balance pie chart we're still going to have a higher speed as you can see 81 speed 80 acceleration 75 vertical so our stats are still going to be across the board higher than his actual physical attributes um let's get started we're going to uh go with an 80 close shot we're going to max out our layup and then our driving dunk. We're going to go up to a 65 driving dunk and then we're done with finishing. Uh, then we're going to max out our shooting. Just max everything out here. And then our post fade is going to go down to an 81 to give us 26 shooting. Then for our pass accuracy, we're going to go up to a 65. And then our ball handle, we're going to max that out to a 74, giving us the four playmaking he has. Then for defense, we're going to max interior, perimeter, lateral, steal, and our block. And then we're going to put the rest into defensive rebounder, which gives us uh, 67. So we're looking at a total of one finishing, 26 shooting, four playmaking, and 18 defensive. Body shape does not matter at all, but I'm just going to go solid. And then we're going to go up to 6'6". Six, six, and then we're going to go up to 215 pounds, um, giving us everything that he has. Uh, the speed, the acceleration, the strength, and the vertical across the boards. You can play with the wingspan, obviously, if you want to make his defense better or, you know, his shooting worse or if you want to make his shooting better and stuff like that. You can, but me personally, I stay with default wingspan because I feel like it's really the best of both worlds. And then, obviously, you could go with any of these takeovers. You know, he Clay can create his own shot. He can, you know, lock down and play really good defense. Or you could go with spot up take. I went with spot up take because that's just me. And then, obviously, you have built a two-way sharpshooter with shades of, obviously, Clay Thompson. So, we're going to hop in the build tester to get some badges and get you guys on your way with this build. We're going to go up to a 99, obviously. Uh, we'll start off with the playmaking. He only has four playmaking points. He has gold glue hands and uh, bronze bullet passer. So we're just going to do exactly that. Gold, glue hands, and bronze bullet pass. He doesn't really put the ball on the floor much. So uh, he only has—he doesn't have any finishing badges at all. Um, so with that being said, you can go with this one point anywhere. It does not matter where you go with it. You can go with fearless finisher. You could go with an acrobat, a fast twitch. Um, you could even go with the bronze posterizer to help you uh, with the 65 driving dunk or whatever. It's going to help you with finishing the dunk next to people with gold intimidator, hall of fame intimidator. A lot of those dunks will miss. Um, or slithery finisher. Again, you could go with anything. I would probably go with bronze posterizer just because I have a play shot with one finishing and 
a lot of times he'll miss dunks if I don't have bronze posterizer on. It's really 50-50. Um, then we'll go with defensive badges. So he does have gold ankle braces and clamps. Um, Silver Intimidator, Pick Dodger, um, and Tyler's Defender. But we'll go with Tyler's Defender Bronze. Uh, we'll, we'll see what we have left over. Um, after that, uh, what else does he have? Um, Hustler Bronze, Interceptor Bronze. He does have Defensive Leader Bronze, but as you can see, we can't even get Defensive Leader. Um, pickpocket, Ball Stripper, um, Off Ball Pest. And then we have two points left over that we can pretty much put anywhere we want. Um, me personally, uh, I would probably go with either a gold intimidator with the silver interceptor, or I would just go with gold interceptor to get those steals or whatever because we do have a high steal. Um, another thing you can do is uh, you can go with bronze chase down and bronze rim protector just to up your blocks and stuff like that, make you just all around a better defender. So that's probably what I would do. Um, or I would go with Gold Interceptor. And then finally we have his shooting badges. Which he only has two Hall of Fame badges. He has Hall of Fame Blinders. And he does have Hall of Fame Green Machine. Um, we got some Gold Catch and Shoot. Some Chef. Some Circus Threes. Uh, some Dead Eye. Some Hot Zone. Um, corner Specialist. volume shooter and fade ace now he does have two more uh, gold badges but we obviously can't get those badges he does have gold limitless spot up and he does have gold sniper um which you can do uh to kind of mimic that the, those badges per se is you could bring down some of these other badges uh, we all know catch and shoot silver uh, it's more bang for your buck versus gold, so we could bring catch and shoot down to silver. Um, Dead eye, we could bring down to silver. That isn't gonna hurt us too much. Uh, and then I would say green machine, we could probably bring down to gold as well too. That isn't gonna hurt us too much at all. And then now we have the option of choosing um, what badge you want, either limitless spot up gold or sniper gold. Me personally, I would probably go with gold sniper. Or you could always go with a silver sniper, bronze limitless, but I'm going to go with gold sniper. And there you have it, the Clay Thompson build in NBA 2K22. Uh, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more NBA 2K22 content, badge breakdown videos, and of course, NBA player builds. It's been your boy, Make America Lit. I'm out.